So here we are in the house of Tui Langi, um, and uh, it's, a, it's a smiling Manu, which is good to see. Um, but he's home a lot earlier than he would have wanted to have uh, been because obviously he'd like to be playing in semi finals <coughs> and finals in the World Cup. So, Manu, it, it's good to see you, uh, my friend, but not good to see you back home. Yeah, it's good to see you in again, but you know, very, very disappointed and very sad to. Um, you know, to be sitting there watching the, the World Cup going on as we, you know, out of it, so. You can't quite believe you're here, can you? I mean, and you were so confident against uh, the, uh, before the start of the French game, and it, it just, it all went wrong, didn't it? Yeah, I was so excited, you know, and, um, you know, I believed in myself and I believed in, you know, the team. You know, we had a, such a good team that, you know, I thought we were going to win, but, you know, we we didn't play, we didn't, didn't we didn't perform, and uh, we made a lot of mistakes, you know, which cost us the game. Um, so it's done, and we're out. So I guess for what it's worth, Manu, I think most people felt you had a you had a good World Cup. You got the ball a lot. You scored a couple of tries. You you made a lot of ground every time you had the ball. But I don't know whether that's any use right now to you. Whether it's a, a good thing or it doesn't matter because you lost. Yeah, for me it doesn't matter because we lost, but. You know, I, I played all the games. You know, I didn't expect to, you know, to to play or even to get into the World Cup. You know, I still can't believe that I played in that World Cup. I still also can't believe that we're out. So, um, but for me, it's been a great experience. You know, I loved every minute of it, and uh, you know, it's just a shame to be back. Now, uh, your brothers played for Samoa. Great, great nation, great rugby nation, but small. You're playing for England, and I guess you've discovered uh, on and off the field it's a much bigger deal playing for a team like England. Yeah, definitely. Um, as you said, you know, on and off the field, you know, there's a big spotlight. You know, you're on every time. You know, got to you know think before what you do, um, and uh, you know I learned that recently um, on and off the pitch. So. Um, it's a massive deal, and you know, obviously, England is a massive, massive nation for the rugby. I mean, that's the thing. I think a lot of people in this country may not quite understand how much it it hurt the the England rugby team. There was a lot of bad publicity and negative stories as well. Some of which were the players' fault, and maybe some of it was blown up. But anyway, it's important, I think, for you to get across to the rest of us how much it hurts you guys. Oh, you know, it hurts. You know, a lot. You know, um, everything that happened, you know, on and off the pitch as well, you know, but the most thing that hurts is losing that game um, against France, you know, it's just, you know, we did, you know, it's nothing to say, it's nothing, it was nothing to do, it's nothing, nothing, it's mm. over. Now, we better quickly mention the, the, the swim, which um, might have been quite amusing, uh, at a certain time in a certain place, but as you've discovered since, probably not the best thing to do the day after you've just lost to France in a quarter final. Yeah, definitely not. You know, um, it's silly, stupid thing to do. Um, you know, I've let my my family down. You know, all the all the people. You know, the the fans, uh, the club, Leicester. So um, yeah, no, there's always lesson that you learn every day. Um, so for me, it's just you know learn from it and uh, um, look forward to playing more rugby. I mean, the water wasn't even that warm, man. I mean, you're Simone. You like warm water, don't you? It was must have been freezing cold in there. Oh yeah, it's very cold. Ferries everywhere as well. Um, yeah, I think so. Have you heard some of the jokes flying around now? Like uh, you know, Manu, uh, don't go overboard about this story. Yes, yeah, it says uh, Manu overboard. Um, uh, you can, I mean, uh, the the Olympics are not until next year. Um, yeah. What, are you going to be a swimmer in the Olympics? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I think I'm a pretty good swimmer. Yeah. I can beat Michael Phelps. So. Well, I mean, it, as I say, you didn't, re you didn't really harm anyone, did you? But um, I guess it was just wrong time, wrong place. Yeah, I didn't, you know, do anything, you know, to harm anyone or I didn't mean to um, uh, offend anyone. So, um... But you know, it's, I guess it's just another thing that added to um, the off-field things that happened to uh, to our England team.
you know, and it maybe have an effect on, um, you know, the coaches and uh, you know the management. Um, just you know, think you've let yourself down, you know, as a team. So, um, you know, definitely a massive lesson, you know, to learn to learn from here. Now, knowing you and your family as I, as I do. I'd be a little bit worried about upsetting England and, and upsetting uh, uh, Leicester, but I'd be particularly worried about upsetting your mum. Definitely, um, definitely, you don't want to upset my mum, and uh, um, I did, and she was I did, lucky I wasn't sitting next to her, otherwise I would have got a hiding, so it's not a good thing to do, and you know, my brothers as well, you know, they, they weren't very happy for me. Um, as I said, you know, I've let let all the people down, but, you know, especially my family, you know, my name. So what are you going to do about it then, Manu? I, I guess get on the rugby field and play great rugby, yeah? That's the only, that's the only way I can deal with it, you know, it's um, trying hard, you know, and go out there, um, hopefully um, play some good rugby. And I guess if you didn't know beforehand, Manu, it's, uh, I know it's a lot to ask for a guy who's only 20, but uh, people know who you are, yeah? And you've just got to be a little bit careful. Maybe there are some things that uh, you can't do that normal 20 people, 20 year olds can, yeah? Definitely, you know, my life has changed, you know, I'm, you know, I played for England, um, you know, as an England player, you know, you got to, you know, very high, um, you know, there's a lot of, lot of young, you know, 20 year olds, you know, looking up to you, um, you just got to be careful what you do and, you know, just got to think first before you do it, so, and that was a massive lesson. To learn. Now, finally, Manu, the good news is, well, good news for you anyway, is that uh, we have a bet, and the bet was made after you uh, um, you said hello to Mr. Ashton <laughs> on the rugby field, um, and the bet was that if you didn't punch anybody till the end of this season, and we, we're talking about May, I would pay you a hundred pounds. Oh, uh, double that, mate. Well, unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, at the moment, I'm going to pay a hundred pounds. I wish I put a clause in the bet. I wish I put a clause pounds. in the bet about swimming in harbours, then I would have won the money. But I didn't. That's my fault. So the money's going to be yours in May. Definitely. Yeah? Definitely. Well, we'll see. And we've got another few months to go yet. But um, at the moment, I'm going to be £100 cheaper. And I hope I am. You will be.